Hello friends. Today we will look into break statement in Java. So break is one of the keyword in uh, Java programming language and uh, it is used to get out of any loop. So we know that in Java we have for loop, while loop, do while loop. So break keyword can be used in all these loops to get out of it. So this is a simple program that I have written to explain this to you. So suppose we have this string array with some values a, e, i, o, u and we want to find the first occurrences of o. So this is the for loop of this program where I am checking each index value one by one and if it is o I am just printing the index value and then I am breaking out of the loop. So what will happen if this break is not here? So if this break is not here the loop will keep on going and uh, it will unnecessarily go through all the elements in this string array and there is uh, no way uh, to get out of it and suppose if there are like uh, thousands of values in this string array then that would be a lot of waste of computation time so we can just use this break statement to find the desired value and just go get out of this for loop similarly we can use this in the while loop. So this while loop does the same thing as this for loop and again I am using this break statement to get out of this while loop here. The next thing is do while loop. It is also again the same thing and once our condition is found I am using this break statement to get out of this do while loop. So this is like one of the most useful uses of break statement where we can get out of the loop in between of execution. So next is the break statement with labels. So in Java we can create a label just like I have created here search int and then in this label I have this for loop and notice that this is a nested for loop so we have multiple for loops so in this case if i use this break statement it will get me out of this inner for loop but it will not get me out of the outer for loop so here we are using break statement with label so in that case whenever this will be executed it will get out of this label so basically it will get out of all this for loop and we will reach here so uh, this is one of the uses of break statement with labels although it's not uh, used a lot but yeah sometimes it can come handy the final example i have is break with switch statement so switch and case are like a replacement of uh, if and else condition and it looks really nice and easy to read so let's see what happens if I do not have break in my switch case. If I run this, so value is equal to 2 is getting printed because this case 2 is getting as true. But after that, switch all the cases, it is not evaluating whether it is coming to true or false and hence all the other value all the other cases values and the default is also getting printed so that's why in most of the cases we use break statement in all these cases to get out of the switch case statements so let's see what happens now in default we don't need to use break because anyway that is the last one so now if I run it, it's just printing value is 2 because here it is getting out of the switch loop. That's all. That's all I had for break statement in Java. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.